all right you guys hello and good morning today is april 27th wow did april go by fast at the uh sun well monday will be in may omg i'm excited for may though your girl's gonna be getting a bonus of 897 dollars in my last paycheck in may so that will be going into june's budget but i'm excited i'm excited so let's talk about april my savings and so forth so we ended up paying off my car repair with this paycheck so that was good um what else okay so my goals was to save 1750 this is for my savings goal like my personal savings did we hit that kind of but not really so let's go into it so i wasn't too sure i was not too sure if i was going to start saving up my amazon paychecks to pay off my um school loans once again i have what ten thousand four hundred let's just say ten thousand five hundred of school loans okay i've been the last time i i went to school twice okay back in 2005 i graduated and that was for a one-year certificate for carpentry and masonry and then 2011 2010 going into 2011 i went and did another certificate but i, I still am shy by like one credit uh, because i failed a class okay um i spoke about that i just didn't do the final i was done anyways that was back in 2011 okay so your girl's been out of school for how long more than like 10 years <laughs> and i still just have school loans okay now of course over the years your girl with my income increasing i did have to i go by income based payments okay so there were some years where i didn't have to pay anything but obviously the interest still accrues right and then there's some years where I was paying towards it, like $100 a month. Not much, but it is something. Anyways, we're at one, let's say 10500 at the moment. So my goal is, as I mentioned, I wasn't too sure if I was going to start this month or in May. But I was like, you know what, Candace, start it right now. You know, don't procrastinate. So I'm not putting the money, I'm not paying it just yet. I'm putting it into a high yield savings because right now it's not accruing any interest and no payments are due at the moment, right? So why not gain a little bit of interest? So 1,000, so just in regards to my paycheck, once again, I live off one paycheck per month. I live off the first paycheck of every month. That's what I use to live off for the month, Okay. My second paycheck, I put that straight into savings. So that was $1,508.25. So I did not meet that full goal, okay, of $1,750, which I'm okay with. That's 200 and basically almost $240 shy. It is what it is. Um, now, if I didn't plan, because you see, this is not in my plan to use my Amazon money, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, I can start in May, start fresh, right? But no, um, so we have Amazon. Once again, the first Amazon paycheck we did use towards paying off my car repair. So that was done and out the way with no debt for that. But then we have Amazon paycheck two, three in. This is supposed to be four. I'll change that later, but that's supposed to be four. So between those three paychecks, we are putting $784.00 and 28 cents in my high yield savings come time this is so it's going to accumulate until we have to start paying back on those loans hopefully i could pay off my school loans by the end of this year but now we are at 784 dollars and 28 cents in if your girl can happen to stick with amazon and not give up and quit they will have that extra income if i were to quit amazon then where is that money coming from i do not want it to come from my second paycheck because my second paycheck of the month 
I do have a goal of saving or getting my savings to $3,000. So far, a $30,000, okay? So, so far, 25000 of that is in a 12-month CD. So, right now, obviously, I only have 5000 to save, right, to get to my 30000 Now, we're now we're only at what 3500 left to save which between i think we'll get there by july to be honest i think we'll get there by july but my goal hopefully is to continue saving my uh full-time paycheck uh my full-time job paycheck number two for the rest of this year i would love to get to thirty five thousand. I just sound, it just sounds a little bit better to me than 30,000. Money comes and goes, you guys. You just never know what's going to happen. You just never know. So I try to be mindful. But yeah, the more I can save, the better. Uh, but if I were to quit Amazon, then, you know, later on in the year, I can use my other paycheck to you to fund that. Once I get to 30,000, that was my original goal for my personal savings. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update. I will have to update you guys on my full-time job. Um, with Amazon, I will say they haven't been giving out any VTO. No VTO at all. Hold on, y'all. So, yeah, they haven't been giving out any VTO. We've been staying for almost a full shift. <laughs> it's been a mess. Not a mess, but I'm so used to having like those relaxed days where we're getting out around 12, 30, 1, 1 30. Now we're staying till 2 30 in the morning. And then, you know, I have a full time job, you guys, you know, so I work from 9 to 5 30. And, you know, with this new medication, your girls just get tired. I just upped my medication as of yesterday. So, yeah, like, wait. Like, Yesterday was my day two of upping my medication to double the amount now. So we're just working our way up, Ugh, you guys. But at my full-time job, I do have some good news, which I'll fill you guys in later. Is it good news? I guess it is. You know, for me to be only out of training for almost two months and to have certain responsibilities um, on my team, I think it's awesome. You know, I think my supervisor is trying to fast track me to, you know, kind of like be off the phones because we have to be in our position for at least one year before we, you know, put out for other positions. But like he's just trying to fast track us or fast track me. I know one of my other colleagues, but yeah, he was like, she pays attention to detail, which you guys already know that. So, yeah, um, good, good stuff. Um, Home-wise, uh, I have some apartment issues, but that's another story. Hopefully, that gets resolved. Um, you know, apartment living has its ups and downs. It does. Um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, you live life. I'm appreciative. I have a roof over my head. Um life is not perfect okay and you just gotta roll with the punches and that's what i'm trying to do so i will talk to you guys soon have a wonderful thursday we have one more day <laughs> one more day to pull off now for me i don't have any days off um i don't have any more time off for amazon well i got like 50 something minutes of unpaid time and like 28 minutes of personal time but uh, that ain't nothing to me when I want to take off a full shift of four hours. So, yeah, your girl will be taking no shifts off for a while. Uh, but, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. We're close to May. Comment down below. Do you guys have any personal goals for May, whether it's financial, just any personal goals? Um, I have to think of some other goals for myself for outside of financial goals. I have to think of some other things uh, for myself, what I would like to accomplish in May or what I would like to do in May. 
Um, so yeah, we'll see. And once again, in June, uh, June seventh, my son will be graduating. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness, my baby's gonna be graduating this Saturday. My son actually has his um, test. Like, so he finished up his thirty-minute course. Me and him had to do a ninety parent child course we did that online but yeah he goes in for the written course 30 minute written course on saturday if he passes that then he can start doing his um seven um the 14 sessions so basically seven sessions of driving so he drives and then the other student drives uh, so we have he will have that and then the final thing will be um the driving like the actual on the road test my baby's gonna be graduating and hopefully getting his license soon i can send him to the store <laughs> but yeah you know i'm happy that he wants to drive um you know it's I will say I'm going to have to do a different video about being a parent. I've done other videos about my personal experience being a parent. It's a nerve wracking. You know, when they're kids, you think about different things. Then when they hit adulthood or going into adulthood, it's a different feeling. It's like another nerve wracking feeling. And oh my goodness, it's just like every stage of life. It's just like, oh my goodness. But I feel like I've prepared him well. But we'll talk about that in another video. Oh my goodness, Candace. I can't believe it. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I just really wanted to update you guys on my April savings. I didn't technically meet all of my savings goals. But, you know, I'm happy that I am starting to put money aside to pay off my school loans. It's well overdue. If we happen to get that $10,000... <laughs> of student loan forgiveness your girl will ask for a refund but um that's it talk to you guys soon all right bye